Well, you guys made me do it. So all this time, I successfully resisted getting an M3 MacBook Pro. I ordered one after the Scary Fast event, canceled that order. I ordered it again when they were available in store, and I canceled that again. But as you can probably tell, I am now dressed going to the Apple Store because I have an M3 Pro MacBook Pro waiting for me. Now, I did not get a fancy M3 Max MacBook Pro or anything like that, and I'll explain why in a second. But I'm in my Apple Store attire, wearing basic Apple guys, buy your mom an iPhone. It's a reference, I'll explain later. So let's get into the hamster mobile and pick up a MacBook Pro. All right, so here we are at the Brandon Mall here in Florida. Now I'm gonna explain this in the car rather than do it inside because that's gonna be weird. So I was not gonna do this, not gonna upgrade. I have my M1 Pro, MacBook Pro 14 inch. I've had it for two years now. It serves me really well. It's plenty fast whenever I need to work on it, but I'm getting over a thousand dollars on the trade in value. And I don't know if I really don't like this computer, I could totally return it. And I'm not going crazy with the M3 Max because I have a Mac Studio. It's an M1 Max, 64 gigs unified memory. I mean, it's a great computer. It does everything I need it to. When the M3 Ultra comes out, maybe I'll consider upgrading the Mac Studio then, but I really don't need to upgrade the power end of my workflow right now. My laptop is really for when I travel, if I'm gonna do some light video editing or podcasting, so I don't need a ton of power there. I really just want the space black, let's be honest. And it is the first three nanometer chip. I only upgrade every couple years, so I'm gonna do it. Again, Apple's return policy is great. If I don't feel like it's worth it or whatever, I have a feeling that Space Black is really gonna speak to me though. I got my Apple Wallet Pass. The item is ready to pick up. So let's go in and get it. I'll be honest, I don't typically do vlogs because whenever I record outside and it looks like I'm talking to myself, I feel pretty weird. I'll be real, but I'm doing it today for you guys. The fastest way to the Brandon Mall Apple store is actually through the Dick's Sporting Goods. So yeah, I always walk through here with Apple products in hand because it's just the fastest way to get there. There it is. Okay, that space black is pretty nice. I do see some uh, palm prints, but definitely not as bad. All right, compared to this MacBook Air, the Midnight, Ooh, yeah. You definitely get some fingerprints on that. As always, you gotta check out the fine woven display for all the uh, finger scratches on those cases. People like doing a number on these for sure. All right, while we wait, let's look at the uh, iMac. Is this M1? Is it M3? Who knows, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Still nice, I gotta say. Never got one of these 24 inches, but it's pretty nice. Be a nice family computer. It might be time for my kids to start doing more uh, Final Cut work, maybe making shorts for me, we'll see. Say what you will, I do like these Apple Watch displays. That's pretty cool. Apparently there's such a thing as a demo update. That's interesting. Do I regret not getting the natural titanium? I'm gonna be honest. I kinda do. This is the natural titanium. I got the blue titanium it looks good don't get me wrong but everybody was right this natural titanium is the way to go got the new one huh i did i did i am excited space black i'm excited for that <laughs> that's it you can't trade in in store anymore then can you well trade in what so i did a trade-in of my m1 pro macbook pro uh -huh. and i used to be able to do it in store and there was a little like uh message that said you can only do it online now like you can only do the mail-in um, you can, um, we could do a post purchase. You're just going to keep getting, you might get a reminder from Apple online saying, Hey, we didn't get your trade in, but you could still do it in the store. Really? Yeah. And then we'll do a, do a post purchase trade in and then go back to the, it'll go back to the formal payment. All right. Well, I might, do I have to bring this back if I do the trade in no. in store? No. Okay. So, well, thanks very much. I no appreciate problem. it. You have a good day. All right. You too. Good seeing you. Look at all these AirPods Max with lightning. Hopefully it gets USB-C next year. We'll see. Got the home pods. Got one of those, got one of those, got one of those. I was gonna pick up a USB-C mouse or trackpad, but you know, I actually just got one of the Assure Yale Lock 2s that works with home keys. So be sure to subscribe, check out that video coming soon. So I have not yet seen the USB-C Apple Pencil. 
So this guy, for some reason, I thought this cap was going to come off entirely, kind of like the old school Apple Pencil Generation 1 cap, but it just slides up and down. It's obviously kind of cool. I might uh, have to think about this just for a little fidget toy. USB-C port right there to charge it. It's pretty interesting. Can't pair it or charge it wirelessly though. It'll stay on there wirelessly. But you gotta charge it and pair it over USB-C. Oh look, Apple still cares about the iPad mini. That's nice. All right, well I might come back here and uh, trade in my M1 Pro MacBook Pro if that actually is gonna work. See you again, Apple Store. No one asked about the shirt today. Usually I get at least a couple comments from uh, somebody, Apple Store employee, but no comments today. And I totally saw online that you could not trade in in store. And so it was interesting to hear from the guy that I can still bring it back even now and uh, complete the trade in in store. So I'm totally gonna do that. But uh, MacBook Pro, M3 Pro secured in space black. Now comes the walk of shame as I clearly did not come into Dick's Sporting Goods for sports ball things, but it came for a Mac. M3 Pro, MacBook Pro secured. I will not be doing like comparison videos. There's so many great videos out there already about the M3 Max and M3 Pro. But what I will do is unbox it. I will compare it to my silver, M1 Pro, 14-inch MacBook Pro. Start the migration process because, you know, that's always fun. And then uh, you can leave questions in the comments and I'll answer them there. So let's go home and unbox it. All right, well, let's make sure we strap in MacBook Pro. Let's go home. Here we go. Hey, close the garage. office work. All right, let's unbox this thing. When I noticed there's a little uh, holiday apple on the bag because you know, holidays. All right, now in case you were wondering, this is the 14 inch M3 Pro MacBook Pro, 18 gigs memory, one terabyte SSD, 12 core CPU, 18 core GPU. It's one of the base model configurations you can get like the higher base model of the two uh, M3 Pro MacBook Pros, so let's unbox it. You know, I was gonna turn on the big cameras, but let's keep the vlog feel going. Oh, these are sticky on the back now. All right, it's my M1 Max, Mac Studio staring me down as I unbox this. There it is, the space black. Let's take it out. Honestly, this MagSafe cable is pretty exciting too. Ooh, all right. Come on, you gotta love that MacBook Pro etched into the bottom. Here it is, space black. Lighting makes this look very different in different lights. Looking at it in person right now, it is actually very dark. And I know on camera, it's not going to look that dark. But fear not, I brought my silver M1 Pro MacBook Pro. This is not the space gray, this is the silver. And there you have it side by side. Honestly, I've seen this in a lot of the other YouTube videos. It's really hard to do justice to the space black, but it actually is very dark here in person, even darker than it appears on camera. So I'm gonna use my one Pro as a uh, table here. Here's the braided MagSafe cable. Honestly, also a great part of getting the space black model. And we actually have space black Apple stickers. That's very cool. And we also have, oh my word. And we also have the 96 watt USB-C power adapter. And that's it. I'll be real, the space black is very nice. Let's uh, get this plugged in. And I will be doing migration assistant. I've come to terms with doing that over the years. It's just way easier to have a new MacBook or new Mac right where you left the old one. All right, so there's once again the silver M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Let me take the screen protector off here. Again, I know it's hard to tell in some of these videos, but it is not a dark gray. I would say this is a black. It really is black. I do really like that look. Now I'm almost wishing they made the uh, power brick in black. I know that would never happen, but <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. Can we just say again, the space black is very, very nice. And honestly, the black keyboard, which made the finish not feel as black. It is not as stark of a difference here in person. It really does look black. Well, we did it. There's the Space Black M3 Pro MacBook Pro. 
Can I finish the Migration Assistant? I'll probably do a test comparing it to my M1 Max Mac Studio back there. I'm just curious what the speed of, say, rendering a 4K YouTube video, see how it compares. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And I am curious what's gonna happen with that trade-in. The person in store said you can bring it in, even trade my M1 Pro in in person tomorrow. So stay tuned if you want an update for that. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing an updated smart home tour pretty soon. I have some new devices over the last year, and so I'm gonna do an updated one of that. Got a Yale Assure lock with home key. We'll be posting a video next week and some other devices I can't talk about just yet, but they will be coming soon. And if you're looking for a 101 basics of shortcuts, I have a video of that too. You can check it out down here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.